USA tomorrow night, but it's, you know, it's a last home game for y'all, but also one last time to honor the four amazing seniors, kind of just comment on what they've had, like their legacy and stuff. Yes. Um, we're excited about tomorrow's game. Um, obviously, there'll be some emotions there um, for our seniors, especially um, because it is their last game in, in the United um, Supermarkets Arena. But, um, you know, I hope that, that our fans will come out and really honor them. Um, I hope that they will play their very best. Um, I hope our team will play their very best um, in honor of them. Um, but I, I, this group of seniors is really special to me um, because they each really – came in with basically one year of eligibility left, and this is where they wanted to spend it. You know, whether it was at Texas Tech um, with the Lady Raider program, with their teammates, with their coaching staff, um, they chose to do that here. And I will be forever indebted to them for that because um, they are part of the, the culture that we're trying to build. They're part of the program that we're trying to start. And um, I think that they've done a fantastic job of coming in and giving us all that they have. And um, they're, they're really great basketball players, but they're even better people. It's been a constant theme about you talking about the fans and people coming out to support you. So how has been Lady Raider Nation really supporting you guys all season? And how excited are you to have one last time with them at home? Yeah, the, the fans have been fantastic. And I, I appreciate their, um, like I said, I've said this before, their, their knowledge um, and for them to be able to see our vision and to see what we're working towards and how we're trying to change the culture. And and um, and it's taking a while, obviously, and, it, and it's not turning up in the win column like we want it to as quickly as we do. But I think they also really see the fight in our kids. They see... Um, you know, the future of what we're, what we're working towards. And they see the kids that are representing um, our program and the university. And, and it just means so much to me that they've continued to support us. They've continued to back us. They've, um, they've shown up and they've been loud and they've been um, very appreciative of the girls' hard work and, and of the coaches' hard work. And um, I just, I love Lady Raider Nation for so many reasons, but um, the fact that they just keep showing up is fantastic. And, um, you know, we're going to get there and we're, we're going to get back to um, having sellouts on the women's side as well. And, and it's going to take us a little while, but, um, but we're moving in the right direction. And this group of seniors has certainly started that. Coach, can you talk a little more about Vivian Gray and what she has meant to this program? Yes, Vivian's been um, so special. She's such a special player, um, and, and it, you know, I think it takes a lot of courage for her to um, transfer schools um, when she did, um, and, and for her to be able to come back and play her COVID year I think was fantastic as well, and it just speaks volumes about what she wanted to do with her commitment here at, at Texas Tech. She really um, wanted to come in and help us um, change the program, and – I think that, you know, she's had a lot of adversity this year um, with some injuries and illnesses and things like that, and it hasn't gone quite like she's wanted it to, but she's playing her very best basketball, and that's really exciting. And that's what Lady Raider Nation will remember forever is just how hard she plays, how competitive she is. Um, she's a special player. I mean, she's really, really good and um, just carries herself with such poise and grace and, and uh, you know, is a great leader for us and her teammates really love her. And um, she just plays hard every single possession, which is what what we want Lady Raiders to do. Um, and I just, I, you know, it's going to be fun to watch her career um, from this point forward and to see where she takes it and what she does, whether that includes basketball or not. Um, it's, she's, she's a phenomenal young lady, and um, I just appreciate that she wanted to end her career, her collegiate career, as a Lady Raider and in the red and black, and she's done it um, with just a great amount of grace. What are your thoughts on TCU the first time you saw them? I mean, a fluke roll ball and a three-pointer. You could have had that one, so obviously you want to get them this time. Yeah, it's hard to go back and watch that game um, because we had so many opportunities to, to win it. And, um, you know, and, and as, you can, as you see, you know, wins are hard to come by in the Big 12. Um, but, again, they're in the same boat as we are. Everybody's fighting for, for another win, for, for some momentum to go into the conference tournament. Um, you know, it's going to be a really big battle for us um, because they're so athletic and and, and very interchangeable on the on the perimeter and in the post. Um, they create some mismatches for us. Um, their athleticism is tough to deal with sometimes on the defensive end for uh, when we're on offense. And um, you know, I think Reagan does a great job with them as well, and she has them playing really hard. So it's going to be a tough game. Um, it should be very exciting. Um, I hope that we can you know put some of the senior emotions aside and just really play basketball and and play our very best tomorrow. 
Coach Taylor had a double double in that game. What makes her such a tough matchup for TCU in particular? I think Taylor's athleticism matches their athleticism. So she's able to get to the rim. She's able to rebound with them, run the floor, um, and and she just plays focused. You know, and and I think that is difficult for for anybody in our league, to be quite honest. When Taylor is on go and really is aggressive with the basketball, I think she's really tough to defend. So um, hopefully, you know, she'll come out and really play well and, and get on the glass early, and that gets her going um, and, and puts her in attack mode um, and, and, you know, that she'll have her best game of the season. You guys are no stranger to playing in games that come down to the wire. That TCU game is a prime example of it. If it does come down to the stretch and it stays as close as that last game was, how have you guys been getting prepared mentally to overcome adversity like that? Yeah, our kids have got to um, continue to find ways to um, – play mistake free in the last part of the game. I feel like in the last three or four minutes, maybe even the last quarter at times, we have some really inopportune turnovers or missed defensive rotations, um, you know, a missed layup, something like that that's just really tough um, to overcome when it's a one possession ball game. Um, I think as the game gets closer to being over, we need to really tighten up our um, intensity level and and make sure that, that you know, we really – take care of the basketball, that we really execute on offense, that that we really value possessions um, offensively and defensively, and, and that, um, you know, that we just stay, stay focused on what our game plan is. Coach, as you have faced adversity and this team has faced adversity with injuries and everything else, not being able to have a full team play, a full – you've probably had 12 quarters where you've had your full team available for you all year. What does that say about – the this team and what's the story of this year for Lady Raider basketball? Yeah, I think it says that our team um, is comprised of, of a lot of individuals who um, really are bought into what we're trying to do. I think that they um, are strong willed. I think that they have a lot of character about them. And so they just keep you know, punching back at adversity. And and that's what we're trying to teach them because as you all know, you know, athletics parallels to life so, so much. And um, I think it's a great teaching tool that every bit of adversity that comes your way, you have to have a counter um, and you can't stay down. And I think that's what shows in our kids. I think that they just continue to, to gel. They continue to stick together. Other kids step up. I think it shows that we've got some kids that are very versatile in their roles and that they can they can play larger roles when they need to and um, and, and they can do more things than, than maybe just one or two um, skill sets. And, and so I just think that our, our, I think it's been fun to watch our kids have to do that it, through the heartache, right? I mean, because it's been it's, it's been some heartbreaking moments for us, um, and that, that are out of our control. But our kids have learned so much, and so um, I just think the story of this year's team is is they've they've really got to take a lot of pride in being the foundation of what we're trying to build for our future. And if they haven't taught anybody anything else throughout the year it's to never give up and to continue to fight and I think that's what our fans see in them. So what's the future for Lady Runner basketball? Yeah I think it's great I mean I think our future is really bright I think we've got um, some great people that are coming back that have been going to be seasoned because of the leadership of the seniors that are leaving this year um, I think they've learned a lot I think that um, the kids that we're signing um, are very bought in to what we're trying to do here and um, and then we've got to continue to be on the recruiting base. You know, we've got a lot of um, we've got a lot of really positive feedback from kids that are watching us, and they they tune into every one of our games, and um, they're not discouraged by the outcome. They're encouraged by the way that we compete and the passion that we play with. So I think the future is very bright, and um, you know, it will continue to get better every year. Coach, you touched on it, you know, this group of seniors kind of, you know, taking different paths to get here. How are they able to come together as those seniors and, you know, sort of lead this team this year? I think they've done a great job of um, building good relationships with one another. You know, I think that they came in and trusted us as coaches um, and what our vision was, even if it was for one year. They were very um, excited to be a part of that. Um, I think that they have bought into we're a family and that they have created and and built lifelong relationships with their teammates with their coaching staff with with the fans of Lady Raider Nation and um, I think that that has really helped our team grow and I think those three seniors um, will forever be able to say that they were Lady Raiders um, even if it was for one year but a bit a huge part of of our building process.
question related to the game tomorrow, but I got the opportunity to talk to shallow water coach Chuck Darden yesterday, and he said that he still has your number from that game back in uh, 1987. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was telling me a little bit about that, that, but, you know, 44 years of coaching for him, he just stepped down, you know, just to see someone in the girls' basketball community mean so much to the Texas basketball community. Just kind of comment on how much of a legacy he's leaving behind. Yeah, he's been coaching for a long time because you know, he coached when I was in high school and I was playing, and he's done a fabulous job. I mean, his um, his uh, reputation obviously speaks for itself. His legacy is tremendous. What he's left um, in, in shallow water, you know, will remain there for a really long time. But um, I think that's what makes West Texas so special is the longevity of, of the coaches that are in this area, um, how they stick to what they know, which is found, uh, fundamentals, um, discipline, hard work. Um, you know, they're not afraid to roll up their sleeves and, and, and to teach and coach the kids that they have. And um, he's just done a fabulous job. And um, it's, it's, it's sad to see him um, hang up, you know, his whistle. But at the same time, um, he deserves it. And he's done such a fabulous job um, that um, he will be long remembered for, for being one of the greats in West Texas basketball. Anything else, guys? Coach, thank you so much. And it was 1988, we won state. <laughs> Just to be clear, no. <laughs>